So I have a guest in my kitchen tonight. This is my friend Aaron. Hi. And Aaron is going to teach me how to use our new Flex Plus. And it is a multiple use electric tool. It is a hand mixer, it is an immersion blender, and it is a food processor all in one. And we're going to be making Aaron's famous chicken salad recipe tonight from scratch. So I've got here in my new four quart bowl, isn't this adorable? I've got some chicken breasts that I cooked up in my raw crock in the microwave. Yes, I microwaved chicken. Could you like just puke? And listen, when they first told me you could microwave chicken, I was like, oh yeah, no. But believe it or not, it doesn't come out rubbery. Um, when it's done in a raw crock, the raw crock sort of convinces the microwave that it's working like an oven. So everything comes out moist and delicious. I seasoned it up with two of our taste buds seasonings, our, let's see, seasoning salt and our three onion rub. Now, if you want to get in on Taste Buds, Taste Buds is our subscription service where you can get each month three packets of seasonings along with recipes for each and really cool um, access to our really cool online recipe hub. So if you're kind of in a rut with the meals that you're making lately, think about joining our Taste Buds subscription. Cool recipes, right? Very cool. Yeah, recipes. really cool recipes. All right, so I'm going to put these aside. What are we going to do first for our chicken salad, so first we'll actually use our hand mixer to shred our chicken. Yes, That's this piece. Yep, we're actually, we are gonna use a hand mixer to shred up our chicken. Now the first time I told somebody we we're gonna do that, they looked at me like I was an alien. So He's not really an alien. <laughs> so here, this weird looking contraption. So I'm gonna show you the parts really fast. So this is the battery. When you get the Flex Plus, you actually get two of these. Did you know that? You get two of them. So you get, a, you get a charger, you can't see it. Pull it over. Pulling over. Okay, so you'll never run out of battery, guys. So when you have one in use, you're going to have another one on the charger. Um, and so even if this one runs out, you go right and grab the other one. Um, and each battery has a 30 minute battery life expectancy. So if you're mixing for 30 minutes, I want, to, I want to know what you're cooking and for how many people you're cooking for. Um, but so if you're really realistically thinking about it, it's probably multiple hours of use. So you have this, then you have the hand mixer part, you have beaters, and we also have whisks for it. Um, so the, put the battery on, the power source goes right on inside there. And then, so on the battery pack, it's, on the power source itself, that it tells you the battery life and then five different speed levels. But on the hand mixer, we have three levels of speed. So we're not gonna look at this on the, on the hand mixer, we're gonna only look up here. So on the hand mixer part, you're, we have a safety feature here. So you're gonna put your thumb there and then go up to your certain speed, okay? And we're gonna start slow, right? Start on slow. Um, and so you don't want your chicken slinging all over the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> Don't want to sling the chicken. Can we see what we're doing here? Yeah. And once the chicken starts breaking down, then you can speed up the chicken a little. Let's speed up the chicken. Speed up the, the speed a little bit, but you want to get it started, get it nice and into smaller chunks. Oh, wants the chicken there. And there is a big difference in shredded chicken versus chopped chicken. So Yeah, I'm noticing it's like it's actually shredding and yes. not chunking it. Correct. Which is gonna be really nice for chicken salad. Yeah. So chicken salad is everybody has their own way of making chicken salad. I've always done it. I can shredded. speed up now? Yep. I've always shredded it using forks because we haven't had a really a way to shred it. But now you can shred it with a hand. Look at that. That's amazing. Big chunks, I mean, if you're shredding chicken by hand using forks, that gets very tiresome. So using the mixer, I mean, we're already almost done. These big chunks keep running away from me. Oh. <laughs> Slow it down. Slow it down? Yeah. Alright, press that and there you go. Yeah. Just do it that, that way it'll actually grab the chicken. So it's in there. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's off. 
Can you see this in here? See how it shredded up that chicken, guys? Super shredded, super, I mean like, super fine shreds. And she's gonna have to take a bite of chicken. <laughs> so, chicken is done. So guys, that was super fast. So then just take this off and you can clean that up. The, uh, the beaters are dishwasher safe, so you can put those in the dishwasher, so you don't have to worry about it. We're still gonna use the battery pack. And next, we're gonna use our immersion blender part. So the immersion blender, the tip is actually um, safe to use in your um, nonstick pans as well as your metal pans. It's not going to scrape it and cause any damage to them. So you can use this however and wherever you want. So now we're going to use this to make our homemade, homemade mayo. mayo. So in hold that. So when you get the Flex Plus, you get a cooking guide just like you do with all of our electrics. And in here is a recipe, an easy homemade mayo. It is just a, an egg, um, Dijon mustard, um, lemon, juice. lemon juice, salt, and olive oil, and that's it. So we're gonna, so with this, you wanna press the lock button here, and then you can do the speeds here. So we're gonna start at the first level of speed and hold that, press power. Oh, hold on, let it go. All right, now do it. Press it. Press it. You want to yep, there we go. So hold now, it, hold it there. Hold, this, right? hold it there for 30 seconds. So we hold it until the mayonnaise starts to form. And then once it starts to form, after about 30 seconds, that's when we can start moving it up and down to kind of finish it. So the reason for that is you don't want your mayonnaise to separate. Um, most, if you make your mayonnaise in restaurants, if you see people making it in restaurants, they'll tell you to add in your oil. But with this, oh, yeah, you, hold, it, yeah. you, you don't need to with this. You hold so it in now place, it and now you can start moving it slowly up and down to pull the rest of the oil in. So as you can see, the oil is still sitting on top, so it, it's the same thing. And you'll start to see the mayonnaise starts to form. This is so much nicer than buying Hellman's. I mean, I love my Hellman's, don't get me wrong. But to be able to make it at home fresh, you can't beat that. This looks like store-bought mayonnaise. Take a look at it. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that mayonnaise. That's beautiful. Can I taste it? I'm yeah. tasting it. That tastes exactly like store bought mayonnaise. And the but great exactly thing about making it, one, is you know what's in your mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. You're not buying it off the shelf after it's been made for who knows how long with preservatives in it. This is legitimately all fresh ingredients that everybody has these on hand. Maybe you don't have lemon juice, but everybody has these on hand. So it's super simple. This what makes a about saver. a yeah. This actually makes about a cup of mayonnaise, so it's perfect for if you're making if you're doing picnics and you're making a bunch of sandwiches for somebody, or for you and your family, um, or if you're not a big mayonnaise person and you need it just a little bit for a recipe, you don't need to go buy a big jar of it and then waste the rest of the mayonnaise. So you've actually got fresh mayonnaise. This is so cool. Last time I made fresh mayonnaise, I think I was pregnant with Sam, <laughs> and I was taking a cooking class with my dad. And we made fresh mayonnaise, but like, it, not this easy. We did right. the whole drizzle in the oil uh -huh. nonsense. This was so much faster. All right, so now we've got our so mayonnaise if you guys can done. See that. So this container That's also beautiful. comes with it, um, with the Flex Plus. So you can make all kinds of vinaigrettes and sauces um, and whips, and then you can make obviously make your mayonnaise in here. And then it also comes with, I don't know where we put it. It ran away. Oh, here it is. I covered it. It comes with a lid, so you can store it right in this container. So you don't even have to put it in another container. So this Love lid that. comes right with it. So I'm oh. taking this guy off the power source because next we're going to be using our food processor. But we're going to use it in a different capacity. Yes. So the food processor has different blades. This is the processing blade that fits inside the processor. It's got different parts here. So this is the plunger that always stays inside. Then the blade for food processing goes on top of there. Take it out. We're going to use actually our slicing blade. So it our does slicing, it have two different thicknesses? It does. So it has a thicker slice, and on the opposite side, it has a thinner slice. So you can do two different slices. So Which it's a multi purpose. Right? Mm -hmm. 
And then we also have another um, uh, grading blade. We have a grading blade that has two different types of grading: it's a fine exact. grade and thick, and a coarse grade. So four blades, well, five different things that the food processor can do, which is crazy. Now, do you want thin sliced celery or do you want thick sliced celery? This is your recipe. It's up to you. How, how do, you, do you do it? How do you like the celery? I eat it like this. <laughs> so she likes thick slices. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the lid goes on. We're going to put power source. power source goes on. And then we have the food chute here. So the food chute will just, yep, you'll put your celery right on in there. You can put as many stalks as you want in there. You can do all of them. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, all at once. So then you just put it on, and you pick your speed. Let's just do, let's do two, and then away we go. Have at it. I'm a righty, so oh. I'm turning it. All right, do it again. There you go. And then we oh, have our food. Got food, food pusher. Don't push them too hard. Oh. Oh. I, I, think, I think I crammed too many. We there. crammed I too many. It. We got excited. I did. I jammed it. Okay. One less. Maybe two less. Two less? Yeah. Yeah, I really, I crammed them. They're like, they're <laughs> she crammed stuck. it and got so excited. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, they're stuck. Okay, there we go. It's this guy who's really stuck. Okay. Okay. Now, so you never want to just cram it down in there because then that'll press the blade I got off a little too enthusiastic. Um, so see, we're pampered, not perfect, right? Exactly. So try, let's try it again. So, so the gentle on, push. Gentle. Don't even, just let it, let the blade do the work. Did we not attach it properly? It's not spinning, I don't think. It's because it's, oh, hang on. It got caught. I messed it all up. <laughs> this Let's... is like our bloopers reel. Come on. There oh. we go. Bam. <laughs> They're gone. They are right, all gone. the other ones? Yep. Just, just let them in there. That one got a little excited there. <laughs> Bye-bye, celery. Oh, that one turned sideways. Yep, that's okay. So... I just want to show you guys really fast in no time. Let's take the big Look out. at that. Like, crazy. Now we do the grapes, right? Yep. So now we're going to do our grapes in the food processor. I, we can't food process grapes. We're not. We're slicing them. Aren't they going to squish? They are not going to squish. Come on. There we go. Am I on? Come on. I'm good. All right, so we're at the same process. We're just going to drop the grapes in there. Turn it so I can see. And we're, again, we're using it on the thick setting because you don't want to pull. If you do the thinner slice setting, it probably will not work that great. You get great grapes. jam. Right, you might get jam. <laughs> and do I need a pusher? Nope, it'll feed right on in there. There's a the power button. Mm, I think I probably I hang on. All right. I think I. Again, we got excited. Bloopers. Hold on. Wait, should we dump those first? Oh, grape overboard. The floor's clean. I walked in today. All right. Let's dump out the celery because I got mm. excited. Do you have a bowl? Do I have a bowl? Not only do I have a bowl, I have a pampered chef bowl. A really old This is a chef classic bowl. one. I here. know. It's like an antique. All right. Celery is gone. Now we're good. There, that feels much better. Power source. <laughs> All right. Grapes in. And these will just slide right on through. I'm just going to hold the top ones. <laughs> well, oh. a bit. Oh my gosh, look at them. Get your fingers out of there. Ah. There we go. That's it. Look at that. Oh, power source off. Oh. Look at, that. Look at those. Super easily sliced. Perfectly sliced grapes. All right. So that just shows you how that. sharp that that is. Because grapes are pretty fragile, right? Yeah. Like, they're yeah. super fragile. Super thin. Perfect sliced grapes. It's like magic. I know. Okay, what goes in next? So that's all of it for using all of the... We have to chop up our pecans. Oh, we do have to chop up our, our pecans. pecans. I forgot. I forgot. I got excited. The pecans. We're, we're so excited. Are we're we going to use this or we can use the food chopper? We can use this because we can actually use okay, the, food the food chopper. Okay, then we will use the food chopper. Okay. Um, scraper. Scrapers are in there. Which one do I want? I don't know. <laughs> Here, let's put them in the celery. Let's save a bowl. They're all going in the same later. thing. They're all going in the same mixture. They're all going in my belly. 
Mm. All right. Yum. So we're not going to use the slicing blade. So that comes off. But the <laughs> middle part. Oh, in. I know. I know. This one. Be careful. That's very sharp. Yeah. And we saw what mm -hmm. happened when you give me a sharp piece. I just rest it just like that. It'll twist on there. Yep. And so it's good. Mm. Now we're in place. Now we're going to put the top on. So we are going to put, you can actually dump these in here. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Actually, we can feed them I like through the food shoot. Yeah. So we'll food shoot it again. Power source. <laughs> Power source. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And now, <clears throat> Pekin's in. Let's turn it on. We'll get it moving. Now dump them in. Okay. Look at that. Let's do a little bit more. Okay. Okay. okay, power source off, top off. Whoops, did that. There you go. Yeah, I like chocolate like that. There you go. So these were full half pecans. Full half? They're full, full halves. Half. Full halves. They're whole halves. Whole halves. That's going in. So okay. look at that, guys. Chill All right, so that. we've got our pecans, our grapes, our celery. Now we're going to add oh, our chicken. And or, raisins. Mm -hmm. So this is actually what makes it a fall recipe. So. Most people associate chicken salad with being summer, and, summer picnics. and picnics. Yes. So I make it a fall version. I add in um, the pecans. Also really great if you want to add in um, uh, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin mm -hmm. seeds are really, really well. I was too cheap to buy pumpkin yeah, seeds. Yeah, so you want to buy them. But, so we're going to so add the chicken the in. Chicken. Looks yummy. And all the yummy seasonings. And the mayo. So add in about half oh, of that. Can you give me a clean scraper because yep. I don't want to dirty the mayo. Add in about half of that and we'll mix it and we'll see how that looks. We don't want it too watery down. With no, the we don't want it too, too mushy. This and then, smells so good. And you can also season it with whatever you want after that. So we use the two different seasonings on the chicken, um, but then you'll probably you'll add whatever seasoning you want to it. Salt and pepper. Yep. I don't Look think it that. needs any that more looks... mayo. I think this is the perfect amount. Yeah. Probably just need a little bit of cracked pepper and I think we're good. Put a little cracked pepper in there. Sure. I like to see the pepper flakes in there. Yes. All right. Wait, wasn't it you who was choking on a pepper, piece of pepper in the Bahamas? Was it What's me? I think it was you. Maybe. I think it was. <laughs> It sounds like me. You're like, oh, oh I did, I did. Yes, at the I did. Friday night mm -hmm. dinner, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the start. No, the Thursday night dinner. So look at that, guys. It's super chunky, full of fruits and veggies. Look at that. Delicious. Now that's some chicken salad. Let's taste it. Grab a fork. Yeah. So guys, you can literally serve this up however you want to serve it up. Just like this, it. you can do it right in a hoagie, right on a croissant, oh, we lettuce got wrap. Oh, rolls. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's packed full of flavor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it really comes together, the homemade mayo. Mm -hmm. That makes it. This is amazing. So good. And that's easy. So done. So our clutch plush. Hang on, I gotta finish two of my <laughs> I should have taken a more dainty bite. Um, hang on, I got to finish Well, you take more bites, I'm on. Or oh. you, I'll take more bites while you <laughs> swallow. <laughs> so our flex plush. It's our new like wow product of the season. And you can get it this month with a September party. When you host a September party, you can choose to get the Flex Plus as your 60% off item. How much does that add up to? You're the math guy. I don't even remember. A whole lot of not very much. Uh-huh. Um, the retail price is what, 379? 329. 329. The retail is for 329. So if you guys can do quick math, 60% off of that when you host a party in September. 131. For 131. That's three appliances. Three appliances. <laughs> it's a food processor. It's an immersion blender. It's a hand mixer. Think of all the cabinet space you can save by getting rid of all those items in your kitchen. Sell them at a garage sale. And then this thing's going to cost you next to nothing. So I have a couple of dates left for virtual parties this month. Um, I am booked solid for in-person parties. I'm sorry. But you know what? In October, if you host, you can still get it at 50% off. So it's a little bit less off. But hey... Grab a date. I mean, don't pay full price for anything. And then you can make chicken salad and everything else. Think about all the recipes you make for the, the, the fall and winter holidays and how much faster and easier you'll be able to do them with the Flex Plus. 
And also think about the options that you have with it being cordless. So how okay, many- Oh, we didn't even talk about the fact that it's cordless. Did you many, guys notice that we're not plugged in? Yeah, so you can take the hand mixer. Now look how sleek and cool this hand mixer looks. Like, it is really fancy. So most people have the hand mixers, the old fashioned ones that are plugged up in the wall. With and wires you, got, you maybe have like two foot of cord. This you can literally, anybody during the holidays can go mix up a cake mm -hmm. at the table, can go anywhere in the, in the house to do any other work with all of this because it's cordless. That's and the battery is feature. gonna last forever. And so, while, you're using, you're using, blah, 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 blah. while you're using one battery, you can be charging the other. Like we have one battery yeah. charging over here while we're using this one. So if this one runs out, we switch to the other one and charge that one while this one's yeah. going. So, and even all that that we just did, it didn't even use, it uh, went down one not even bubble. went down at all. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this was taken right out of the brand new box. So out of the box, when you receive your Flex Plus, it's ready to go. You don't have to be like, I have to charge it every night before it's I use it. It's already charged. Nope, already charged, ready to go yeah. out of the box. So talk to us about booking a fall show and we'll help you get it at 50 or 60% off. Now we're gonna go eat some chicken salad sandwiches for dinner. I'm hungry. Me too. Okay. You just ate half of it. I did not. He totally did. I mean, it's my recipe. So. Fair enough. <laughs> we're gonna go eat now. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys.